guys. Thanks for joining me. Welcome to my kitchen. It is Friday night. It might not be Friday night when I upload this video, but it's Friday night right now. And I get to paint for a little bit. It's not Friday for me. I work shift work, a rotating schedule. So for me, it's only Wednesday. But for the rest of the world, it's Friday. So here we go, you guys. We're going to try one of these super fluid cloudy puddle type pours. Um, I got a bunch of colors mixed up. I'll definitely put them in the description box below. And you know, as always, I just want to say thank you to everybody. You guys are amazing. It's uh, super fun. It's super gratifying. It's super humbling to wake up to all your questions and comments. I, I think I say this, I try to say this every few times because it really it's, it is amazing, you guys. You know, you guys that know me know that I had no intentions of even doing YouTube. I was just pretty happy puttering away in the kitchen all by myself. But thanks to lots of encouragement from you guys, we now get to paint together. And that is pretty cool. All right, so my base coat is really, really thin, as you can see, and we're going to go from there. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of gold down, not a lot. Gold tends to really take over, as we know. I might try two puddles tonight. One bigger than the other, obviously. Paint's gray. I'm not putting this down in any particular pattern. I just, just I'm just kind of dumping it on, guys. So don't get all wrapped up in the design because it's nothing more than just a design. And it's not going to look like that in just a second. All right, let's move some paint. Hopefully my paints are mixed correctly and we will be able to get some cells and some cool things happening. I'm gonna stretch like crazy. I'm gonna try for, I don't want 100% coverage you guys, it's not my style as you know. I don't like full coverage. I like negative space and so that's what we're going to go for. So we're just going to stretch these paints out a tiny bit more. Even though we do have cells developing on the bottom, but it doesn't matter. They can just keep doing their thing and we're just going to let this go. Okay, and we're going to stop there. And let's build on that, my friends. A little bit of paint around the edges where I missed. This is, I've been having a lot of fun with this technique, although I've had a lot of frustrating moments with it as well. But in general, I'm having fun with it. I've, uh, I did a few pieces for myself. Well, I've done all my pieces for myself as far as that goes, but a few that I'm actually really happy with and I'm just going to keep for myself. So in my series of because I can't sleep, I did pour over the one. Um, I didn't like it when it dried. I used my pigments the last time and they all kind of broke up and I wasn't really feeling it. So I poured over it. Not that that's a big surprise because lots of things get poured over. Okay, so let's build on this. It's already starting to sell up. So this little bottle, guys, is nothing more than some uh, milk paint and water. That's all it is. And that's my cloudy mix, as you can see. It super takes over, so we don't want to get too carried away with that. And I lost my cup. Somewhere I had hmm, 
had was the operative word. Somewhere I had a little cup with more cloud mix in it so that I could just use it. Oh well. Okay, this is kind of a, I don't know, it started as a red oxide and it's gotten added, a bunch of times I've added more and more to it, so I don't even know what color it is now. Not much of any color by the looks of things. You know what, we're just going to add some more cloud mix along here. I don't really know what to do. Sometimes I get it to this point and I think I really like it just where it is. It's like it's simple and it's kind of cool. I think I have a plug in my, a plug in my cloud mix. All right, now let's add some of the red into there. This might turn out to be another really simple painting that I just leave alone. You guys can do this. This is a uh, this is uh, definitely key. The key to this whole style of pour is consistency. Absolutely. And when I say I was struggling, I seriously I was struggling. I. I had just so frustrating trying to get the consistency down the last couple of days. And you know what? It happens, you guys. It happens to everybody. So when you're watching people and they make it look super easy and all the rest of it, I will guarantee that they dump just as many pieces as you and I. They do. They have to. That's my, that's my theory. Okay, you know what, you guys, this is going to be super disappointing, but I think I'm going to actually stop here. I, I really like things quite simple. And, well, I'm not going to quite stop. I'm going to fiddle for a few minutes, but I'm not going to add a lot more. It's quite, I like it the way it is. It's pretty. It's not overdone. And I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's it guys that was super quick so I'm gonna turn over my overhead light so you guys can see a little better and then I'm gonna bring you down it's quite glary but we'll do our best it is gonna change so tomorrow you know when we post pictures and it's dry it never quite looks the same as it did wet which is unfortunate because sometimes I really really like it wet and I don't really like it dry but here we go guys and to bring you over, there you go. Very simple, lots of negative space, lots of intricate little lines and details. I'll show you close. Yeah, look at that guys, very cool. Four colors, simple, easy peasy. You guys all got this, we can all do this. We can do it together, we can learn, support each other. It's only paint, my friends. We got this. Bye for now, you guys. If I don't see you soon or talk to you soon, have a lovely weekend. Bye, guys. Take care. Poor happy. Stay safe.